<laughs> no way. Talking to Phil Daniels, um, you're the proprietor of the West Indies Cricket Heritage Centre, mm -hmm. your brainchild. What gave you the idea? Well, over the years, I would go home and away with the series and watch the team. And Every time we travel up and down the region, um, as I learn more of the history of West Indies cricket, I'm thinking, hang on, this can't be right. There's nowhere in the region where we can go and look at the, the, the deeds of the great men of the past. So Leary up here. And about four or five years ago, I'm thinking, well, I have some stuff and I keep getting stuff. I'm going to keep on getting stuff. And I'm going to try and make something. So, without wishing to be arrogant, I mean, it's, it's a dream come true for, that it's reached fruition. But, I mean, the, the collection you have is enormous. Are all the stuff yours or some on loan? What, how's it, how's, how's, how did you put it all together? Okay. Um, right now, we don't have one single item on loan. Everything is ours or mine. Um, and we haven't even finished unpacking yet. So um, it, it will be a fluid thing. We're going to change things around. I have to see what else we have. We're getting stuff all the time. We've, so uh, if people want to make a loan, that would be nice. Because I'm real skint. Is this from your, your personal collection you've built over the years? Is this your own personal collection? Yeah, absolutely. yeah. From about 25 years ago, I would, when I was going to the games, I would just start getting every school card and ticket and thing. And then I would buy a little thing here and a little thing there. And the next thing, it kind of took over my life. And I was in auction houses around the world buying stuff. Because I, you can't let this thing go to waste, man. I mean, is it is it... So you're telling me that basically your house has basically been a museum for the last maybe 25 years or so? My house, my mum's house, <laughs> my garage, uh, my sister's house, uh, under beds, various places, and uh, finally it has a home to live in. I finally, I mean, to, to see the, some of these former greats like Courtney Walsh, Sir Vivian Richards, you've even got Charlie Griffith over here, come in and, I mean, and the glint in their eye, the excitement, the... What does that do for you? Um, a very emotional day. Uh, to see uh, Viv just made a, a little speech there. With, I, have a little, I had to go in the office and have a little cry, to be honest. <laughs> I love that man, um, what he's done for us. Um, very, very emotional. Incredibly emotional. Real honor. A real honor. Any, right now, you, you say you still have about everything. You think you have enough space in here? Or, 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 is, or are they going to give you some more space? <laughs> we don't have enough space, it looks, so we, we would try and expand, yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, whether we go up or down or sideways, I'm not sure yet, but we're going to have to try and do that, yeah. What's the more special piece in here to you? I don't know, you know, <laughs> it's very, very hard to say. Just some, some of the real old things, but then I have some things from Viv, from Sir Frank. It's impossible to answer. I'm really sorry, but I can't put it. It's so much precious things here, I, I can't answer that question. I'm going to ask you maybe a difficult question also. Okay. What, how, how much is it, good, how much is it, is it worth? Oh Have you been able to get a, a dollar value? I mean, this is a big undertaking. Yeah, we, we've had to uh, make an estimate for insurance purposes, obviously. So uh, I'm going to tell you what that is. <laughs> and to be honest with you, the, the money is important, right. but it's having it all in one place. And uh, no, it costs a lot of money. <laughs> Phil, I can see you're really emotional about this. Um, thanks very much.